Hello everyone, welcome. I'm going to be showing you the hair clothing and objects that came with the new expansion pack called University Life from The Sims 3. I'm very excited because there's a lot of stuff, especially objects, so many new things and I cannot wait to show you guys. Starting off with the hair and clothing, we're going to go into female first. I don't know why I always start off with the female. So the first one is a top knot with like a Dutch braid trailing up to it in the back. How crazy is that? If I tried to do that, I would fail. It would just... <laughs> It wouldn't look as good. We have some cute ponytails. This next one is amazing. Look at the details on those dreads. Look at those beads. That's my favorite one. I'm not even kidding. They're so cool. An asymmetrical bob with an adorable little um, pin in it, a clip. And then the last one that is tied back ponytail, which you'll see in just a second. There we go. There we go. And now going into the clothing for the females. There's a couple shirts and a bunch of layers. I really do adore layers. It's like my favorite thing for Sims because it makes them look a lot more realistic and they definitely did that with this expansion and it's just really awesome that they added a whole bunch of different styles and things. So there's a lot of different logos on the fronts for the university, you know, teams, I guess, maybe. I don't really know what the logos are for, but yeah. There's a lot of preppy outfits too, which I love. Some lounging shirts you could just chillax in. <laughs> chillax. Such a weird word jerseys um some baseball tees with the some more logos school logos some more t-shirts and then there's these amazing ones with the cat the breakfast sandwiches some llamas duh, and then some bacon and a necklace that was really cool i really love that and now going into pants and leggings sorry i'm still a little sick so my throat is bothering me a little we have a lot of layers again and then sh favorite shorts ever the studs and then the the chain that comes off of them um some sweat shorts and the belt buckle does anybody know guess who that reminds me of just guess can you guess? It's a character from the Big Bang Theory, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> For outfits, there's a few that are skirts, like these ones. Uh, very rebellious, I want to say, maybe? I don't know styles very well, but you know. <laughs> this cool little shirt with this detail in the back that's actually cut out and it has these strings running across it. It's a very modern, I don't know, I feel like, um, well I mean modern day, like what people would wear these days. <laughs> and then the ones with the overalls, favorite outfit, no joke. A bunch of layers again. The smocks that you can use when you are painting and stuff. Some new combat boots, which I know somebody was excited for. A few people were excited for these. Toms. I love me some Toms. I don't have any, but I want to buy some. But <laughs> And they actually go towards good cause. Um, a pair, if you buy a pair of Toms, another pair goes out to a child that needs one. So keep that in mind. Go buy some Toms if you can. Oh, glasses. Cat eye glasses some university earrings, some bangles, zigzag bangles, and jelly bracelets. Is that what they're called? I don't really know what they're called. <laughs> now for the male hairstyles, dreads again! Look at how amazing the details are on those dreads. They did a really good job with all this stuff, especially the dreads though. For some reason, I'm just so, I just want to stare at it all day. This hairstyle makes me think of Casper Lee. Does anybody know who that is? He's a YouTuber. Totally. Just go look at one of his videos and you'll be like, oh my gosh, you're totally right. And don't worry about the plant sims. I know you saw that. I'll show you the outfits in their entirety in just a couple minutes. And favorite hairstyle for males, um, besides the dreads, is the beanie. Now for facial hair, look at that crazy beard. Look at that beard. That's amazing. Reminds me of a uh, Harley from Epic Meal Time. <laughs> We've got some more jackets. Can never go wrong with a bunch of jackets with the logo on it. This <laughs> very wide open one. Oh man, I love the styles of all of these things. This is so cool. I would totally um, make my sim wear that all the time. And then that one made me think of <laughs> Harry Potter. I don't know why that made me think of Harry Potter. This one with the elbow patch. Elbow patches are like the coolest thing in my book right now. And then there's some more sweaters. I have a sweater like that. I'm wearing it right now actually. That's so weird. <laughs> With the stripes on the side. 
That one makes me think of somebody who wants to go sailing. Got some more rebellious layers with the studs and the rips. Oh, I love destroyed denim and destroyed t-shirts. They just look really cool. Some more workout um, sports gear with the logos. Muscle shirt. Check that out. That was crazy. <laughs> this cool jacket. This is my favorite one for the men. The ones with the t-shirts underneath. I don't know why. I really like jackets and shirts underneath with the, the hoodies. Okay, anyway, <laughs> the men have the same shirts as the women that are adorable with the sandwiches and stuff, you know. Not sandwiches, but the breakfast foods. Um, some more Big Bang Theory character jeans. <laughs> uh, some ripped, destroyed denim jeans. Some more destroyed denim that are cropped. Oh, I love this expansion pack. I'm so excited. I love the stuff that came with it. If you want to get an expansion pack just for the stuff, I totally say go for this one, even though there's a ton of stuff you could do with this that makes it a lot more realistic. Like, going to university now. What's up with that? That's crazy. Like, who'd have thunk? I don't know. Sims 3 University. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, I skipped right through the shoes with my rambling. We have some more big glasses, and I love the black uh, preset for them. Necklace that I had to show with the shirt off because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it under the clothes. Uh, yeah, the bracelets. Anyway, here are the plant sims in their entirety. We have the hairstyles for them. Um, the men have a beard made of plants, leaves. Uh, plant leaves. <laughs> they just look really cool. Their, their outfit is actually just a full outfit, and then the females also get shoes. But the males don't, unfortunately. But, I mean, it still looks really cool. And now for the tattoos, because I always like to show you guys the tattoos. There's five different ones with the different logos, again, or I'm pretty sure it's like team mascots maybe that makes a lot of sense moving on to traits and wishes we got a few new traits and wishes finally I'm excited avant-garde sims know what art what's art and what's not and don't mind letting others know it's tough to please an avant-garde type and they will benefit in the pursuit of a fine arts degree <laughs> why was that so difficult to say I don't know here's her cute little thing that she does when you click on the avant-garde trait next one is irresistible which is <laughs> hilarious they're quite charming although oftentimes they may get more what they ask for dates will be easy to find and others will flock to socialize with them because they're just so irresistible <laughs> oh yeah smoking hot <laughs> Next one, last one, is socially awkward. Socially awkward sims try to fit in, but sometimes say the wrong thing at the wrong time. It's not easy being socially awkward, but it sure is awkward. <laughs> I love these new traits. They're so adorable. Oh, now for the lifetime wishes, we have blog artist, major master, perfect student, reach max influence with all social groups, scientific specialist, and street credible. If you would like to read those, uh, feel free to pause the video and read them. I don't want to do it in the video because I know it will take forever. And then the new music is Geek Rock, which I'm excited to listen to because it just sounds amazing, something that I would love. And now for all of the objects, I'm not even kidding, so many of them. Starting off in a comic book geeky nerdy room, I thought, I don't know, I just wanted to make uh, a whole bunch of different types of rooms like I usually do with these videos. And I thought it looked really cool, scientific. Look, she's studying the skeleton and there's UFOs hanging from the ceiling. You see that? <laughs> in here, she's like a radio broadcaster using it to transmit um, radio waves out into the air and into your radio. <laughs> what? I don't even know if that's the correct terminology for all of that. I hope that makes sense. And in this room, it's an artsy room. She's just painting, you know? Rocking it out. Taking her frustrations out on her canvas, on her easel. And there's a whole bunch of colorful, girly things in here. And there's a lot of artistic decor items, too. A whole bunch of spray cans and stuff. And it just, it's amazing. It's incredible. In here, she's just testing her brain, you know, the huge. <laughs> Something that you can do on a daily basis in The Sims. And you can also actually boost your IQ, which I feel like would come in handy when you want to take an exam, right? I don't know. This is the preppy room, I like to call it, I guess. Because there's a cool table, they got the nice seats, um, they have a fireplace, a keg, their own snack bar. Like, this is living the life right here in university. It looks amazing. And then this guy, he's just chilling out. Little couch potato watching TV um, with a bookcase. Looks like he built himself. How awesome is that? He's providing for himself. I mean, if you can't buy it, make it, right? <laughs> it works. 
And then for the new gaming room, there's a ping pong table or tennis table. What is that called? Table tennis? Uh, beer pong? I don't know. <laughs> you can play juice pong on there too. And she's bowling and look, she just failed miserably. Over on the back wall, the bright things, those are actually vending machines. In this room, I just want to call it the sanitary room. We have him doing a scientific experiment, another brain machine, an easel, a whiteboard, I mean to <laughs> write down notes and stuff, and then a washer and dryer. And here are some extra items. There's new car parking spots with lines, like dividers, a truck that takes you to and from university, some new pavements and dirt, a fire pit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll show you in the Let's Play. Some statues, some fences, and then these items off to the left are from the buy debug cheat when you enable it in build I mean buy mode there's just a bunch of random stuff I thought I'd show you guys because they look pretty cool you can still decorate your house with them if you wanted to and then for those I would like to see the trees and the shrub that came with university life so that is the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope that maybe this helped you make up your mind on whether or not you wanted to buy it for the hair clothing and objects if you were considering it for just those items but as far as the actual playing playthrough goes stay tuned for my let's play series and then you'll get to see a ton more stuff in there and I'm very excited so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this expansion pack in the comments and I will talk to you all soon bye